Convergence to me is us being able to do as an industry all the things that we've been wanting to do, and in certain instances, saying we could do for a really long time. Uh, obviously, uh, consumers have you know long since shifted uh, in terms of how they're engaging with content. And as an industry, we've had uh, legacy technology uh, processes and, and knowledge gaps around uh, how we activate media in a way that marketers uh, want us to, to deliver for them and in a way that is optimal from a user standpoint. The uh, you know, convergence, you know, ever since I've been in, in this industry, uh, you know, in the early days of, of Rubicon, you know, all the way to, to today, uh, we, we've been all excited about the idea of, of convergence and the breaking down of silos of media, the silos of data, the silos of uh, technology, uh, the silos of workflows, uh, the silos of budgets, uh, to be able to uh, deliver the best results for marketers uh, and uh, ultimately uh, have the, the type of ecosystem that is exciting to work in and, and exciting to uh, you know, innovate uh, for you know, wh where things are, are headed in the future. I think the, you know, some of the challenges that we faced uh, are ones that were uh, sort of silent problems that uh, so many of us uh, bumped into the problem, but didn't actually uh, fully appreciate the root cause. Sometimes the, the causes were business models. So uh, when things were wonderful in the television world or in the radio world, why change? Uh, revenues going up every year, every incremental ad dollar is super high margin. Uh, why do we need to change any things? And fair point. Uh, uh, then, uh, you know, more, uh, you know, even more silent problems of, you know, this is something that we faced at Cumulus when I was there, where, uh, we wanted to do a simple convergence of an audio ad and a radio ad to the same buyer. Well, we couldn't do that. Why? Because the agency's financial system didn't allow them to do broadcast and digital in the same workflow and on the same invoice. Uh, so the buyer who buys radio, which essentially is audio, couldn't do that. Uh, and so sometimes the, the problems were uh, more underlying technology problems. And that's really what we at Hudson have, have set out to, to really attack uh, and to make it to where the industry has a cloud-based flexible platform where buyers and sellers get to dictate uh, the innovation and get to dictate how people transact and get to dictate what data is used, what the uh, commercial models are. Do you want to pay for performance? Do you want to pay on, you know, really whatever it is. And so that to me is the, you know, uh, you know, big opportunity ahead of us is if we can eliminate those, you know, silent problems. And I think COVID has helped uh, accelerate some of the trends from a commercial standpoint. Uh, now we've got as an industry, as an industry, we have to attack the other silent problem of these underlying systems, which put up all sorts of barriers along the way. Sometimes they're financial barriers, sometimes they're workflow and efficiency and operational barriers. Uh, other times uh, they're sort of data barriers. Uh, and that's the, the piece, you know, holistically uh, that, that we're trying to address at Hudson MX. And, and we're excited to uh, enable our agencies and all the people they do business with, their clients, media partners, data partners, technology partners, uh, to, to have that future where, you know, legacy silent problems aren't, aren't you know, uh, slowing down innovation. You know, we want their technology systems to be an enabler of innovation in empowering our, our agency partners for a more creative and, and effective future. So the you know, vision from day one uh, was always to build the, the modern infrastructure for agencies and all their constituents. Uh, now that's a fairly bold uh, task. And so uh, we weren't delusional in thinking we could do all of that overnight. And uh, you know, as, as wonderful of as relationships I had with certain folks at agencies, I don't think that they would have all uh, jumped on board uh, that train uh, without a proof of concept. And so uh, we focused on local television as our initial proof of concept. And uh, we were fortunate enough to be able to earn the trust of all the major agencies to uh, work with us on the local TV standpoint. And uh, by virtue of, of agencies having modern software uh, to be able to uh, transact with, with media owners, 
uh, Wide Orbit was able to uh, build APIs uh, to enable buyers and sellers for the first time to be able to transact in APIs all the way from the start of, of the buying process all the way to the end. And I think you know, you've got partners out there like Wide Orbit and, and plenty of other technology and data companies and media owners who are super excited about the idea of having you know, a cloud-based system uh, that's API first to plug into, uh, to be able to innovate, to be able to automate, uh, and to be able to, to, to drive the industry forward. So even off our proof of concept of local, we were able to see innovation that, you know, for the prior 10 or 15 years had been stuck. And the reason why I know this so well is when I was at Cumulus, we wanted to do these exact things. So we, uh, at the time, had built our own traffic system and wanted to integrate that in uh, with our buyers, but the buyer system wasn't able to do that. And so uh, by virtue of, of building out uh, Hudson MX and, and at the time buyer assist for local TV, now agencies had modern software that had APIs. So the technology companies like Wide Orbit uh, could innovate on behalf of their constituents, the media owners. Uh, and the, you know, over time, uh, as we were able to uh, earn the trust of, of uh, our agencies, Agencies have said, okay, that was great. You sold this for local television, but we need to do this holistically. And so, you know, as you mentioned, you know, we've uh, been fortunate to partner with uh, Essential, uh, not just for their capital. Uh, uh, this is not for the faint of heart in terms of capital, uh, but more importantly, uh, this is, you know, the the technical part of this is is one of the challenges. Uh, but there is a you know people change and a process change that has to come with it, and. I think the, you know, uh, the recent announcement of the launch of Hudson, Hudson Bridge with Essential and MediaLink is a proof point on Hudson's commitment as well as Essential's commitment to make sure that our partners are set up for success, short, medium, and long term, uh, and that we are holistically supporting their transformation efforts from a product standpoint, uh, but also from a people and process standpoint. And you will not be successful unless you uh, do those three holistically. The launch of Hudson Bridge with Media Link and Essential was really around supporting the agency's needs to transform holistically, product standpoint, but also people and process. From day one, uh, we built our platform to be omni-channel to support any media type uh, with the agencies in full control of all the smarts of the system uh, and giving them the flexibility so that whatever comes at them in the future, they're well positioned uh, to, to respond to that in a way that uh, best works for their customers. So whatever media types, whatever data, whatever technology, whatever algorithms, whatever tools they want to use, the agencies need to be set up for success there. And, and that's what we've been focused on. And the knowledge that agencies are where they are today, uh, and there's a future they want to get to, uh, and we want to be their trusted partner in, in helping, that, helping them through that broader transformation. And, and that's why we're excited to do what we're doing. So tell us where the bridge is right now and where it's going and, and what that rollout might look like. So uh, we recently announced the uh, 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 launch of Hudson Bridge along, along with the uh, leader of that, a, a gentleman named Lucas Cridland, who has had a successful career uh, as an executive at Dentsu, Omnicom, and Publicis. Uh, he's been on the operational side as well as the investment side, so both a practitioner and an operator. Uh, which is which is super critical. And most excitingly, we've announced uh, the launch of Finance Assist, which is the uh, underlying financial system, which uh, is the key to a pathway of getting off of the legacy systems provider, uh, which is the key for agencies being able to do the broader transformation they want to do. And it's the key for media owners, data companies, technology companies like Wide Orbit uh, to have a modern system to be able to interact with uh, for them to be able to, to do the innovation and all of the sort of hopes and dreams around convergence, that key underlying blocker, which has sort of been a silent blocker for 20 years, uh, is, is no longer there and, and prevents us from being successful.